Hey, it's Anna. I hope the setup's okay here. I just wanted to show you some jewelry that I picked up yesterday. Today, actually, I'm filming this on Thursday evening. So this is some of the jewelry. This is all of the jewelry that I found. I found this in one local thrift store. Um, I found two pairs of Alexis Batar. Quite beautiful. I feel like it's a little dark in here. Let me move the light like this. Okay. It's nighttime and I'm on an angle on my camera. I think it looks all right. They're signed or both have a cartouche. These are Alexa's Batar. Um, those are crystals. They would have gold plating and um, these are Lucite. See the crystals on it. Those are Alexa's Batar. They're about an inch and a half drop. They're beautiful. Um, these ones are amazing, absolutely amazing, so amazing. They needed their own short. These are high-end Alexis Batar uh, Lucite earrings. There's Lucite and Crystal. I believe that is Lucite as well. Looks like glass, that's what Lucite's about. It's also hard to break. Um, it's a, like chip resistant, looks like glass. These are Lucite down here as well. And then there are crystals in a number of places here and up top. Both are marked with a cartouche. These are fantastic. Signed, Alexis Batar. Wire earrings, gold-plated crystals and lucite. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, right? I thought they were amazing. Those are at least two inches, maybe a little more. I also found a phenomenal Swarovski set. This is my, this is nice. Um, they're sat for color and clear crystals. It's a swan signed on the back and looks rhodium. They rhodium their jewelry. That means there's a rhodium plating over whatever they use underneath. That's what rhodium means. I don't believe they, they can make jewelry out of rhodium, but I was told by a jeweler it's so expensive that they don't do that. They plate things that with it, but this is plated with rhodium. There's a swan, the Swarovski swan. The swan's on the back of there. And the swans on here as well. It's a beautiful little um, rhodium and rhodium plating and crystal set. Okay, as well as these. Look at they have a bunch of clear. You have larger clear crystal, and then there's one that's the color of a sapphire, which I would love to keep as set, but I'm not going to. Um, swan sign in the back and rhodium pair of earrings, about an inch and a half. An amazing, amazing set. Swarovski. It's beautiful. I think it is. I found a few, like, at the store there must have been a, um, apparently there was somebody that was collecting Alexis Batar. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, I was looking. This is Monet. This is amazing. Look, this is one of those beautiful, like, butter, um, color necklace signed Monet. I believe they're both 1980s. This is a ultra- Long looks fantastic, like brand new, like it was in someone's cover, you know, like in someone's jewelry box, or right? Simon Monet, the Monet chain that they were the first to really make one like that. Anyways, um, when nobody there was, I have seen actually jewelry companies that like have used similar, but Monet made this one in the late 1970s. I believe this is a 1980s necklace. Okay. Beautiful, long chain, and the collar. I think they look good together. I mean, I am no uh, designer of, hey, wear it like this, because <laughs> I'm just not. Both beautiful, though. Both look fantastic, and I believe they're both 1980s Monet. I found a pair of Monet earrings that I better converted. Remember these? I don't know if you remember this. I think the first time they had the earrings out were in the 60s, and in the 60s, they were just gold tone. Or silver tone, I believe they had as well. Then in the 1970s, when they were enameling a lot, you'll look at, if you, you know, in the book, they, they tell you that there was enameling. We all know there was a lot of enameling of jewelry in the 1970s. But about these, is they're not marked Monet? I know these are Monet. I, do, I know they are, and they were, have been converted, and that's why they don't have the Monet clip on it. You see, they look a little high up. They are wearable. They're pierced. Somebody had them converted from... Um, you know, being clipped to Paris. And these aren't a real common pair to find. And they're cool because of the color. It's a dark blue and a light blue. If you have a necklace and you're looking for it, that would be great for you, right? All right. Um, this is just a small lot. This right here, 
Yeah, and Monet's good too. Um, if somebody collects this one's beautiful. But these three were really good. I have other. Oh, and this. This is an very old to antique. This is like crystal, like the type you would see hanging from a grandma's chandeliers. I have a beautiful ashtray that has crystals like this that hang off them. It is a sterling um, clasp, and I believe these are vermeil or gold filled. Probably gold filled because how long it's lasted. The glass um, is graduated in size, and I, 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 I think they are hand cut. <coughs> I am no expert on that. Okay, but it's quite beautiful, graduated in size till you get to the longest. It's strung on chain. It's strung on a chain and I put gold filled, I think, on the balls, not verme. Sterling clasp. It's a nub of a clasp, a thumb clasp. I want to call it a thumb nub or a nub. It's a thumb, thumb clasp. It's a, um, an old clasp. Now, maybe it's not original to the necklace, but I don't know why they put it on there. You know what I'm saying? No, it looks original. It could have had a gold, maybe everything is verme because it has a, like a little gold tinge to it, but it's marked sterling. Okay. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. It's definitely vintage, very vintage to antique. Okay, that's that's Anna's assumption on it. Look, I found myself a clown. Pretty cool. He's heavy. He's probably pewter with a gold tone over him. Yeah, but I think he's fantastic. Look at him. Doesn't he look dapper? I I collect clowns. My mother liked clowns. Another Monet. This is nice. Um, yeah, I think it's. It looks like a 1950s. I would have to look at how the make, how the copyrights on it to confirm that. But it has, the, you know, like the um, the finished, the textured finished in gold tone, and then shiny, and just looks like like a 1950s trafari or something. You know, I mean, it's what I thought it was. I thought I was pulling out a crown trafari. So quite possibly a mid-century Monet. I don't know. I think it's nice though. It's a leaf, and I, you know. That's the style back then, too. Um, this, this is simple, but I thought it was pretty. It's a vintage, a beautiful green little necklace. Look at the chain on it. And it has a ball, and I think you're supposed to stick the hook through it, okay? But I didn't. I just have it there. It's really nice. It's pretty. It's a simple necklace. Oh, in regards to pre-selling, I will not pre-sell the two Alexis Batars or the Swarovski bit. This, if I get the price I went for it, okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the everything else, this and the green one, just not those three. This one would have to has to go for a pretty price. That's that's nice. I mean, a little bit higher. Um, but whatever, somebody will pay it if they want it, right? And then, I don't know why I'm telling you that. Oh, God. That looks like my fossa. It's nice. It's heavy. I want to test it for gold. I haven't tested it yet. I'm gonna test that in the clown. Yeah, because I, I don't see a mark on it, but sometimes it's really hard to find. I doubt it's gold, but I'm going to test things because there's been things I didn't think were. This is a Brighton bracelet. Um, it has the Brighton clasp, and it has a cartouche that says it has a B on it. I don't know if this is worn off or if... I think I may have rubbed it wrong. Let me rub it. Well, maybe it looked like it was a leather, but more, I don't know, kind of faux leather, really, because the way it's pale. But it is a Brighton bracelet, and it's silver plated. I think it's still nice. I mean, you, I don't know. Yeah, I picked it up. I got it really cheap. Um, <laughs> so if somebody wants to get a good deal on it, okay. If not, then I don't know. Do something with it. He's cute. He has enamel on his back. It's purple. And he has green, little green or little blue eyes, little mouse with rhinestones running through his tail. It's articulated. He's adorable. <laughs> okay, I'm sniffing it out. Coral. Um, there are a lot of stones down there. Okay, good stones. Um, and I have a regular blue coral. This is blue and red coral. You can see the, like, okay. It's coral, definitely. Um, and it has a, well, looks like coral to me, okay. On expert, it's in vintage coral if it's coral on that, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm certain it is, actually. Yeah. Um, it's a barrel clasp, and it has this tooth. I mean, this uh, made to look like a claw, but I 
Looks like Mother of Pearl to me. I don't know. I don't know who made it, where it was made. Um, but it's cool. And I, I do believe it's real. Oops. Okay, the antique necklace got knocked over. The very old. I think it's really beautiful. I love lead crystal like this. Okay, I'm back to this. Okay. Like, see that? That's, um... Yeah, it's not rock crystal. It's lead crystal. It's amazing. Looks like something would have been hanging off the chandelier. Beautiful. Oh, okay. I don't know why I showed it again. This is modern. Um, this is not crystal. This is not... This is a glass with an AB coating on it. It's double strand. It's nice. It's a nice necklace. But it is a lobster claw clasp, silver tone findings. This is costume. Pretty long, probably about 30 inches. And you can layer it. You can wear it. It's double stranded. I think you saw that, right? So you could just wear it long, or you could take this and double it up and position have four chains, make them all different lengths if you wanted. It's pretty nice, actually. And it's I think it's beautiful. Not everything sterling for me. I mean, like even this, I mean, this isn't all, oh, this is probably for me. And I thought the chain underneath would be, I think they would use something stronger, like a brass, you know, because lead crystal's rather heavy. It has a little bit of weight to it. Um, they may string it on silver occasionally, but I would be very hesitant to think that on that, okay? I mean, and that's just my humble opinion. I could be completely wrong, but it's heavy and it's beautiful. Um, I really like that. Okay, so this one's nice too. This is modern AB. It's not very heavy because it's not lip crystal, but it's beautiful. Okay, I don't know why I got into all that. Um, I think I'm tired. It's been a long day. Anyways, these are silver tone and gold tone. I can't see a name on them. Oh, look, look. They're nice. Uh, they have the X's. Those look like Ann Klein's. Hold on. Let me look. Let me waste your time. <laughs> if you want to go, you can go. Or you can hang out and listen with me. Um... I don't know. They're not marked, but they definitely look like Anne Klein. You know what I mean? The X's and O's. Um, could be another brand as well, though, because they all do similar things around the same time periods. You know, somebody's the first, and then there's some um, copies, and I don't know if she's the copy or not. But anyways, reminded me of Anne Klein because that's the depth that I've seen that. Could have been another brand as well, but these are costume. And um, they're pretty well made. They are like, like that's folded over pretty well. They're not chintzly put together. And it looks soldered. So they're a well made earring. I don't know who they are. Okay, I took a lot of depth right. There is a difference between the construction and jewelry, though. That's something I've noticed with quality when I'm looking for older jewelry or whatever. It just it looks different or, or better than. Okay. I mean, I think I need to go, like, watch TV or something. All right, that's it. Sorry about the jibber-jabber. Here's some of the stuff coming. Nice. Huh? Um, I'm going to add those three and maybe the crystal necklace if I don't get what I want for it. Okay. All right. The other things are all for pre-sale, if, if anybody's interested. I took up enough of your time. I'm trying to drag it out for 15 minutes. No, I'm not. I'll talk to you all later. Thank you so much for watching. I will be on tomorrow because this is coming up at 12 noon. I will be on at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, that's the time I'm doing it because I can go to estate sales and everything and have what I'm selling. And I like Saturdays during the day. I, I know I did lose one person that I really liked, and I'm sorry about that if you watch this. Okay, I guess I could email them too. I can't help it. I have to do what I can do to manage my life. And I have a full life. You guys know that that know me, and I'm happy I do. Keeps me alive. Keeps me happy, you know. I have my family, my children. I have to help take care of my grandson. That's important to me. Um, so, I mean, you know, I have to do it when I can. And evenings, I'm pretty beat. Evenings are never a good time for me. 5 p.m. is not a good time because I have to make dinner. You know, and I, even when I have Eva and I have to baby three to four days a week. And then I have, you know, there's things you have to do. But whatever, I'm really blabbing on. I'm almost at that 15-minute mark. <laughs> so, yeah, that's been the best time for me. I don't know if it's going to stay like that. I probably will for quite a while while I'm taking care of the baby anyways because it's the best time for me. I'm rested. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Sorry I blabbed on. I, I probably am not going to have the retention right to the end. If you got to the end, say you did, okay? Might be something in it for you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, book.